but let's see what's going on for Virgo here. Challenge or focus for the month of July is the uh, the Two of Swords. It's the tarot card we have here, but let me look at what these runes are saying here. Uh, I feel like some of you may be feeling um, caught in the middle of a situation or um, with the rooms here, just feeling a little bit down and depressed at some point in July. Now, it may, you know, it may just be a few days out of the month. Um, you know, whenever whatever comes up here is not necessarily going to color the whole month and, it's, and certainly not for, for all of you. But yeah, there may be a situation where um, there was a stalemate or, or you and someone else are unable to, you know, agree on something or come to an agreement or come to a compromise. Maybe um, you're being stubborn or someone else is being stubborn or you're both being stubborn uh, because that's what the Two of Swords is about. And, and you're being very guarded with this person. Um, this can also be come up when uh, I feel like somebody's just feeling caught in the middle. So it may just be you caught in the middle of two other people, Virgo, as well. That's another way this could work. And it's really kind of getting you down, that they're not getting along, or that you're having to try to uh, mediate or, or or get them to come together. Or um, Sorry about that, Virgo. Uh, technical difficulties here. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, this is uh, could be somebody that you have to deal with that you don't want to deal with. So an ex that you have children with or um, somebody you're trying to work out an agreement with, um, a boss, a coworker, um, because you're being very guarded with what you're sharing and, and what details you are revealing. Now in the present, uh, energy. So that's going to be end of June moving into July. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is still a good card even in uh, even in reverse. It just means that, you know, things are going okay. Things are good, especially family-wise um, for most of you. It, it's just there may be one missing piece or maybe it's just this energy that's the one thing that if we could just take care of this, we could turn this completely, you know, and, uh, you know, our cups would run us over. Um, Many of you, I think, are wanting to move and because there's a shift or it's a big shift or change, but normally this involves a relocation with uh, Rido, the room that's here. So uh, maybe some of you are wanting to move and you can't because of your uh, custody agreement with your ex um, or you are wanting to travel and, and you are um, unable to do so. Or there may be a job opportunity that you want to take that would be really good for you and for the family and, and bring in a lot of income, but you can't, you know, uh, go that far away or, or relocate to this location because of um, a contract or, or, or some other um, dealings or some other reason here. Um, and it's, you know, or you may just be wanting to, um, you may just be wanting to move and, and it's causing conflict with your family. Maybe, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with an ex or kids or anything, but it's just, you you know, your mom, your family, or your kids don't want to move. Um, or your spouse doesn't want to move. And that's why you're kind of having to mediate. You may be trying to talk people in someone into something, or someone may be trying to talk you into going along with this Virgo. Again, these energies can always work both ways in these, uh, general reading so um but i am seeing conflict regarding a big shift or change that you want to make involving uh relocation or travel or uh, a, a new job opportunity um because the eight of coins is here and we'll get to that in a minute it's in the result but i feel like for many of you this is a financial opportunity um, it could also be a chance to ex to study, expand your skills. Maybe you're wanting to go away to take a course or take a class or enroll in a certain school and your family's like, no, that's too far away. Uh, we don't want you to go or um, that'll be especially relevant for those of you who are uh, looking into colleges for uh, the fall or trying to choose where you want to go. Um, but yeah, whatever this is, it's not new energy. Um, I don't think it's surprising. It's kind of like, uh, I've been here before with this person. If it's one person in particular who is kind of throwing a, a wrench into your plans, it's like, you know, they're always around to, uh, you know, screw stuff up for me. 
or attempt to uh, screw stuff up for me. I don't think they're going to be successful, but um, yeah, I think you're just disappointed maybe that some people won't go along with your plans or aren't uh, on board. For some of you, maybe you're just trying to plan a family vacation and, and, and it's like, you know, trying to figure out where to go. Nobody wants to go. Nobody, nobody is helping you. It's kind of all left to you. Um, some of you may be dealing with or caring for an older family member or someone with health problems who it's mobility is a challenge. Um, you may be trying to kind of help someone, you know, pull out of a depression because they, you know, maybe because they're depressed because of health problems or because they've had, um, you know, and it could be you as well, Virgo, but I feel like for most of you, it's you kind of maybe helping, um, a mother, a mother-in-law, a, a grandmother, um, and you're trying to maybe get them to uh, embrace life again, trying to cheer them up, trying to get them to go out more, to to go out into the world more um, and meet new people or, uh, you know, enjoy life again. And they're just fighting you kind of to the nail. And maybe they've always been kind of, you know, a hermit or always been kind of, you know, uh, not wanting to stray too far from their uh, comfort, comfort zone. And... Um, you know, I think you'll be successful in getting them to go somewhere, this person, but, uh, and Virgo, maybe for some of you, again, we were kind of talking about, you may be feeling down, maybe, you, you know, others are trying to get you to come out of your shell and come out and do things. And for some of you, maybe it's your kids or your parents or, uh, you know, your friends and it's causing conflict because you just really don't feel like it. Um, you know, I, I don't want to meet new people, I, you know, <laughs> um, so uh, it's going to be different for all of you. But I, I do see people kind of trying to um, support you, trying to get you out and about, trying to kind of pull you out of your funk if, if it's you that's depressed or you are doing that for a family member or a close friend. Um, so the help that's going to be available to you, you do have the Two of Cups in reverse. So uh, and Inwas. So this is interesting. Very differ different, kind of opposite energies here. So maybe some of you are depressed because you recently got a divorce or, you, or there was a breakup or you're missing someone, even though maybe they weren't the best kind of person. They were a complete disappointment to you <laughs> because that's the rooms that are here. Um, but maybe you're just missing the familiarity of that because, you know, whatever we get used to, that's our normal, even if it's not really acceptable. Um, but this is coming up as a help to you. So whatever ended needed to end, um, whatever relationship is over needed to, you know, it's going to help you to be out of that or away from that. And for many of you, I think you know that, because again, this is coming up. It's like, there's someone you don't want to deal with anymore. You just want to be done with them. So you may, maybe that's part of why some of you want to relocate. You're like, I just want to get the hell out of here. I just want to move away so I don't have to see this person. I don't want to talk to this person. I don't have to run into them. Um, and Ingwas is saying, you know, new beginnings are coming. And uh, anything that you are contemplating that you want to do, particularly if you want to move for a job or relocate to, to you know, yeah, start a new chapter, that is going to be what's best for you. So, um, despite people like maybe trying to talk you into staying somewhere you don't want to stay or, uh, or not moving or not taking a job or, um, not moving on, not moving forward. I think it's going to be in your best interest for many of you to do it anyway. Um, because it's going to lead to uh, a wonderful opening up for you and, and you'll really be able to let go of whatever you know, was holding you back or let go uh, of whatever this is. Now, for others of you that, you know, that it's not a relationship, a breakup or anything like that, or a divorce, um, it could be the divorce or a breakup of another relationship that you're kind of happy to hear that they broke up. Maybe you were concerned about a friend or a family member or, um, you know, it, it, it seems to be a breakup or a divorce that is good news to you is another way this can work. And maybe that's going to kind of pull you out of your funk. Um, I feel like for some of you, it is the ex and maybe they like were with someone else and then it, like, you know, maybe they got their heart broken and it's kind of hard for you to not have, you know, it, uh, that feeling of, mm -hmm. see, karma does, 
karma does find its way back around because maybe they, you know, I do feel like you were hurt really badly by someone and now it's kind of like, yeah, it's coming back around their turn. Um, you know, and we should never be happy for, you know, or take joy in other people's misfortunes. That's not very spiritual, but it is human. I mean, it happens, right? Um, you can't just turn off the switch of human emotion, but, um, so yeah, that's a couple different ways this can work. Whatever relationship ended or is ending Virgo, it's a help to you and it's sending you into a very lucky phase. Um, and new beginnings, new projects, new jobs, new locations, new houses, new homes, new people are going to be, um, uh, renewing your enthusiasm. So if watching this, especially on the June side, if you've been feeling down, if maybe June was kind of a, uh, an up and down kind of month or, or you're just kind of feeling, you know, depressed or down, um, you know, I think things are going to pick up and a lot of it does have to view, do with your viewpoint. So, um, don't stay in your house. I mean, I understand if you're taking some downtime, just maybe, you know, sometimes we're not the best company and it's better that we stay home, but don't do that the whole month. I think it's going to be important that you do, uh, you do get out and, and spend some time with people you like and, uh, who like you and enjoy yourself, have some fun. I think that's really going to kind of get your mojo going again. And then this news may come in that, you know, um, will kind of perk you up this news that someone has, uh, either broken up with someone who was no good for them. Um, or it's a karmic thing where it's like, you know, finally went back around there. Now what must be accepted? We've got the, uh, the queen of cups. So this is water sign, energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, coming up as a queen here in this reading, but um, it could be a male just as easily. So um, this is someone that you could be meeting in July or who is gonna be a very good support for you because you've got the rune of uh, Thor's rune, luck, protection, um, so if you are looking to meet someone new, you could be meeting a water sign Virgo because you're in the right place at the right time. It won't be when you're looking, it will be random, you know, at the grocery store, in line at the post office, uh, at the bookstore, things like that, places like that. Um, this could also be a friend, a family member, uh, someone that you're really, who's just really kind of there for you and protective of you. So it could be your mom for many of you, a motherly figure, again, mom, a grandmother. Um, this, there could be a tendency with her to be a little bit overprotective sometimes. Um, maybe she's the one who's not wanting you to move if you're wanting to relocate for some of you. Um, and you may have an argument, but it, it you know, she will uh, come back and, and um, you'll talk it out. But for those of you that are single and looking, you could be meeting a water sign in a, a very fortuitous way or serendipitous way whenever this room comes up. Um, some of you may just be going out with a water sign friend and, and like going to the casino or something or, or uh, you know, entering a contest or something and one of you may win um, because it's coming up in your reading, Virgo. I mean, this would be a good month maybe to uh, enter a sweepstakes or uh, buy a lottery ticket or, uh, you know, try your luck at the casino. Just don't, you know, don't spend more than you can stand to lose, uh, but you're, you're an earth sign. I know you wouldn't do that, but, um, whoever this woman is, she's very nurturing. She's, she's, she's very caring. She is, uh, very, uh, warm and, uh, loving and supportive and helps you. So, I mean, the, I, she's going to be a big help to you. And she may be the person who's kind of trying to pull you out of your, of the doldrums. Um, or for you, maybe, you know, maybe it's you trying to pull her out of the doldrums because the, uh, the water sign people can, um, you know, they're so in touch with their emotions and they're, they're ruled by their emotions. So, um, they can struggle a lot with, uh, extremes emotionally and depression is certainly, you know, one of those things that, that they, uh, tend to struggle with from time to time. But, um, whether you're helping this person or they are helping you or whether, you know, you are meeting them, if you're single, uh, 
it's you're lucky to have them in your life because I feel like they are a protective force or they are someone that you want to protect. So that's interesting. The uh, final outcome of July, you've got the eight of coins, as I mentioned before. So yeah, this is about uh, a promotion, uh, learning new skills, expanding your skills by uh, training or courses or education or certifications. So um, yeah, some of you may be enrolling in a course, enrolling in a training course, going to some sort of conference where there's training so you can expand your skills. You may be taking a test, an exam so that you can get uh, some sort of qualification certification on your resume. You may be starting a new job and there is a period of, of uh, training. Um, because yeah, there is this kind of sense of like, the because this is the card of the apprentice and then with the runes here, it's kind of like, you know, you're on your way to starting this new gig, but it's there's kind of a holding period where you gotta learn some things or get certified or move or, <laughs> um, you know, so maybe some of you need to travel to take this training and it's like, you're trying to find you know, like, who's going to watch the kids. And, you know, I would say it's probably going to be this queen of cups. If you have a water sign sister or a friend or uh, your mom is a water sign or your, or an aunt is a water sign there there's uh, or, you know, it could just be coming up. Doesn't have to be a water sign. She could just be a very good mother, a very nurturing energy, someone that you would uh, totally feel fine leaving your kids with. But, um, yeah, you're building on skills you have already uh, learned because the Eight of Coins is a card of, uh, you know, we're getting up there. We're getting closer to the 10. So it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're mid-career here. You've already been doing whatever this is for a while, but there's a new aspect, new skills, new knowledge that you are adding to it. Um, this can also be new treatments w with health because we were kind of talking, some of you may be taking care of a, a relative who... It has not been doing well, um, has been ill or has had health problems. This could be them kind of like getting over the hump uh, and uh, either uh, recovering or managing their illness uh, a little bit better. So, uh, or recovering from surgery, kind of getting back to strength, maybe not full strength in July, but we're getting there. Um, definitely better than maybe June or uh, earlier in July. By the end of July, it's going to be, uh, they'll have their strength back here. Largely due to this, your support and the support of others, I feel. Um, I feel like someone is studying to become a nurse because I, I, I just get that a pull from her. So for some of you Virgos, you, maybe you are taking on the traits of the Queen of Cups in the, in the healing, the caring, the nurturing. Um, and that's what you're doing. You're, you're looking to complete, uh, complete your education or complete an exam so you can become uh, a nurse and take care of people. So that's what I see in July. All in all, a pretty good month here, Virgo. Just, uh, yeah, if you're feeling down, feeling depressed, definitely get out of the house and, and, um, at some point and socialize a little bit. I think it's going to give you your mojo back. And uh, there's it certainly looks to be an opportunity to relocate for work or finish up a course or expand your skill set in some way that will bring in financial reward for you.